Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Nordstrom dressing room try on video. It has been a little while since I've done one of these videos. If you're not familiar with the format of these types of videos, I basically take you in the dressing room with me and show you different outfits that I'm trying on, tell you what I ended up buying, what I didn't end up buying, kind of show you how the actual clothes fit. For reference, I am five foot two inches. I'm very short and I'm about 117, 18 pounds. Um, I wear, depending on size, between a two and a four. So I'm pretty petite. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that helps you when kind of seeing how the clothes fit on me in comparison to your own body type. So I had a lot of fun at Nordstrom trying on some clothes. I tried on about eight different outfits. Um, very season appropriate. So I did try on some sweaters. I also found some blouses that could transition into warmer temperatures. So I live in Austin, uh, Texas. It's actually really cold here right now, but typically we don't experience very cold temperatures for very long. So I don't really have this wardrobe filled with tons of sweaters or heavy clothing. I try not to buy too much of that. When I am getting to that season, I try and find pieces that can transition into warmer temperatures. So you'll find a lot of that in these outfits. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Real quickly, I wanna mention that if you're not following me on social media, I'm on Instagram and Facebook pretty actively at Lisa J Makeup. So I hope that you'll check me out there. Be sure and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and let's get started. Okay, so the first outfit is this chevron striped sweater by the brand Caslon and these gray faded denim jeans by the brand Mother. I had never tried Mother jeans before, but my God, you guys, these are amazing. The only reason I didn't buy them is because they were $228 and I just can't bring myself to spend that much on a pair of jeans, but I loved the way these felt. They were so soft and stretchy and lightweight. They fit like a dream. I tried on a size 26. I actually looked and saw online that they're on sale for 35% off. Um, I'm not sure if they'll still be on sale when I upload this, which will be Sunday, but I will link it down below so you can check it out. They just felt so amazing. They have some distressing on the knee. They have a frayed hem. Um, I just, I can't say enough about them. I love the way they felt. I liked the sweater. It was a nice chunky knit material. I thought it was really nice and bright and I liked the colors mixing coral with whites. Um, I tried an extra small in the sweater and then I tried on a size 26 in the jeans but I thought this outfit was really nice and casual well you can roll the denim up or leave it down again for reference I'm 5'2 so it kind of shows you where the jeans hit on me This next outfit, I ended up buying the jeans. I was so disappointed in the way the top fit though. I loved the print of the top. I just love that bright floral print. I love the cold shoulder. I love the bell sleeves. I thought it looked very flattering and feminine. What I couldn't get over was it has this weird wire right there in the neckline and I just could not get it to lay right, which was such a bummer. I tried to talk myself into the shirt, but I knew that if I bought it, I'd regret it because it just didn't, I just couldn't get over that wire in the neckline. I'm not sure why they did that. The jeans although were were such a great find. They're by the brand Blank NYC. I'd never tried their jeans before. Pretty affordable. I think these were about $88. They are a faded black wash. They're high rise, which I really like. They're stretchy. Uh, they have a frayed hem at the bottom. As you can see in the back, the hem drops lower and higher in the front. So it makes it easy to wear with booties or with high heels. Really like these jeans. I'm glad I picked them up. Yeah, they were uh, 88. And I tried on a 27, but I ended up getting a size 26 because I find that I need to be buying size 26. I buy 27s and they just stretch out and get way too big on me. So I ended up getting a 26 in those. Um, I'm showing you here how they fit with booties. So you can see that the back drops down a little bit, but it leaves the front high so you can still see the shoe. Really, really happy. I actually ended up getting another pair of denim in this same brand uh, that you'll see in, in a future outfit here. But yeah, really, really happy. Blank NYC, really stretchy. They passed the squat test. <laughs> Okay, so in this outfit, I'm wearing the same jeans, but this top, I've switched the top up. I love this top. This is probably my favorite purchase of this trip. This is by the brand, I think it's called Trouvé, um, but it has this tie, draw, drawstring tie crisscross detail in the front. You can tighten it or loosen it um, depending on you know how much cleavage you wanna show. I'm a little more conservative, so I tightened it. I love the detail on the sleeve. It's got this button and it has this slit. It's so beautiful. Uh, it hangs lower in the back, which I like. It gives a little more coverage so it's gonna be really pretty with leggings or skinny jeans. I think it's so sexy and classy and sophisticated. It comes in a few other sh uh, colors. I think it comes in black, 
a blue, kind of a teal color, and a coral or like a brick red color. But really, really happy with this purchase. I just think it's so flattering. It's very lightweight, flowy. You can really wear this top year round. Wear it with a jacket when it's cold. Um, and then even in the summertime, it's so lightweight that you can get away with wearing it in warmer temperatures. Okay, this might be my favorite outfit altogether. This uh, moto jacket is by the brand Blank NYC, and I love it. It comes in several different colors. Some of the colors are on sale. It's like $115 on sale. This particular shade was not on sale. I think I paid $188 for it. Um, but I'm gonna show you two sizes. So this is a size extra small, and then I will show you what a small looks like on me. I ended up going with the extra small because you'll see in a second why the small is too large. These jeans are also by Blank NYC. Uh, these are skinny ankle jeans. They have a, a released frayed hem. They have distressing on the front and the back. Um, I really like the way that they look cuffed too. Um, again, I think these were 78, so super affordable. Um, as far as the waist, they're not high-waisted, you can see, but I did feel like they good, gave, gave me enough coverage around the waist and tummy area. The sweater you can't really see under this jacket, but I'm gonna show you what the sweater looks like here in just a second. So here's what the jacket looks like zipped up. I love the hardware on it. You can see the zipper on right there on the sleeve. Um, it's just a stunning jacket. It's lightweight, it's very stylish. I think it's just a great way to dress up jeans and a t-shirt. Um, and it's, like I said, it's lightweight, so you can wear it in the winter months to add an extra layer, but even if, you know, on cool summer nights, you can wear it as well. I think this is a jacket that I'll probably wear uh, most of the year. Really, really happy with this purchase. Um, I'll leave a couple of links to the, all the different shades and styles that it comes in. Uh, so this was this small. You can see that it's too long around. That You can see that the sleeves are too long. You know, that it just kind of looks like I'm wearing, um, it's, just, it's just a little too oversized. I didn't like the way this fit, but I always like to try on an extra small and a small just so I can make sure I make getting the right size. The extra small felt a little tight and snug, but I think it looks a lot better than the small does. So this is what the sweater looks like without the jacket. I love this. This is by the brand Chelsea 28. It's a ruffle panel. So it has that ruffle panel on the front, cold shoulder. I really like how uh, long this is in the back. I know that even if it shrinks a teeny tiny bit, it's not going to come too short. It's lightweight, so it's a sweater that I think you can wear uh, the majority of the year, even in warmer months. It comes in black and gray, and then I got the burgundy shade, but I really, really like this. I'm all about cold shoulders. I hope that they don't go out of season next year because I'm going to have a ton of them in my closet. Okay, and this sweater I love. If you didn't notice, this is what I'm actually wearing uh, currently when I'm filming this video. This is by the brand BP. It's the Cozy Mock Sweater. I also have it in blue. There's not much to say about this sweater except it's so soft and cozy. It has a little bit of a fuzzy feel, but it's not like sloppy looking, if that makes sense. I love the detail around the neck, the sleeves, and then also on the bottom of the sweater. I'm wearing them with the same jeans, just showing you the back detail. Okay, this outfit, I kept the same jeans. I switched up the sweater. I didn't purchase this sweater. This is my by Madewell. I loved it. I kind of regret not purchasing it, but um, I don't know. It was around $69 or maybe $79, and I just thought it was a lot for what it was, but I think I might go get it because even though it's nothing fancy, it's something I would wear the heck out of. Uh, it, I love that front tie. It's just an easy sweater that'll dress up a casual look. I just think it's uh, really, really cute and comfortable and easy to wear. This next top I thought was pretty interesting. It's by the brand Gibson. It's a convertible neckline fleece tunic. Uh, you can wear this neckline three different ways. So you can wear it like asymmetrical like this. You can wear it completely off the shoulder or you can wear it as a cowl neck. And I'll show you how to wear it uh, all three ways. But it comes in 11 different colors online. I was pretty surprised that it comes in so many. Uh, it's so soft. It's a fleece material. It's just so soft and cozy. It's very long, so it makes it great to wear over leggings. Um, I did not get this. I kind of wish that I had, but I was happy to see that it comes in other colors online because I'll probably pick it up in another color. Okay, and then I tried on this top by the brand Trouvé, which is the brand that I 
had that beautiful blouse that I showed you earlier. I actually have this top in gray and I love it. So I went ahead and bought it today in black. Uh, I wouldn't wear it with active wear. I would wear it with jeans, but it's this really soft V-neck. It's longer in the back. It's very lightweight black tee. These leggings are by the brand Zella and they have a high waist, which I love. I did not buy these. I liked them. I thought they were fun. What frustrated me about them is that detail on the bottom. It took a lot of effort to kind of like fix it and maneuver it and put it where I wanted it to be. When I initially put them on the crisscrosses were overlapping each other and it just took a little bit more work. Like when I'm getting ready to go to the gym, I just don't want to spend that much time. But I thought they were cute. If you're someone that likes to wear active wear outside of the gym, these are really cute and comfortable. <clears throat> Okay, and this last outfit is the, just this super casual tee. I really like, though, the ruffle uh, peplum detail at the bottom. It has a black uh, rim around the neck, which I really like, and it's thin black stripes. Really cute t-shirt just for a you know, casual day in shorts. I liked these shorts so by the brand Caslon, and I like that they have minimal distressing. I also like that the hem is rolled up and it's sewn on, so even after you wash it, you're gonna always have that perfect rolled up hem. I tried on a size 26, but they were kind of baggy, so I would probably go back for a size 25. Uh, but yeah, I just thought this was a good, casual, easy summer outfit. All right, you guys, and that wraps up my Nordstrom try-on. Give me a great idea for this series. I would like to start doing more try-on videos uh, in the future. I just, I just want to come up with a cute, catchy name for it. So maybe it's, I don't know, dressing room diaries or dress, kind of think that idea. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I would love your feedback. Um, I want to show you one thing. This just showed up at my doorstep like an hour ago and I'm so excited about it. And I thought it would be nice to throw it into this video because I purchased it at Nordstrom. I was looking for a bag to carry my computer in. Now that I'm gonna be full-time YouTube, I imagine myself working from coffee shops a lot more, dropping my kids off and going somewhere to work. So I wanted a bag that could double as a purse, but also a laptop bag. I didn't really like like the traditional laptop bags that I was finding, and I wanted one bag for everything. So I found this on Nordstrom's website. It's by the brand uh, Dane Dover. I might be saying that wrong. It's D-A-G-N-E and then Dover. They have it in a couple of sizes. They have two of them that carry, lap that actually has a specific place for your laptop. Laptop. Let me show you. I haven't even taken out the filler yet, but so you can see this bag, it, it actually has a place for your laptop here. It has tons of compartments for other things like your phone. Um, it has compartments for pens. It even has a compartment for a water, water bottle right here. How cool is that? Um, and then it has this little thing for your keys. Anyway, it comes in two sizes that carries a computer, a large and then I guess the medium. I got the smaller version. I almost got the large, but when I was reading reviews, it said that the large was really, really big, like too big. So I went ahead and got the medium and it's a perfect size, uh, but I love it. It doesn't have a label or a brand identification on it. If you want something, if you want a great work bag or travel bag, or you just always want to be able to have your computer on you, this is a fantastic bag. And I think that was important to me too, was finding something that had really dur durable straps that could hold a lot of weight. And this really, really does. So I'm so excited about it. It comes in black. And then I think it also comes in like a navy color. I got the bleaker blush, which is basically like a light gray, but I'm so excited about this purchase. I wanted to share it with you and I didn't know how to fit it in. Um, it might make my favorites video. I'm thinking it probably will but I wanted to show it to you first because I'm so excited about this bag. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Leave me all your questions, your feedback, your suggestions down below, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.